Hey, hello and welcome to today's GLG problem of the day. Hope you all are doing well. So let's see today's problem. Uh, count digit groupings of a number. So let's see what the problem has to say. Given a string, there will be a string given. Right? Okay. So what we have to do is we want to uh, divide. We want to divide the string into subgroups, right? By separating the strings into substrings. For example, if I divide this, right? If I divide so this is one group and this is another group, right? So what is the sum of this group? The sum of this group is one, right? Which is less than or equal to the sum of the digits of the group just right next to it. So what, what is what is the sum of the digits? 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 9, 11, right? So yeah, so this is a valid grouping. What is a valid grouping? 1, 1, 9. So this is a valid grouping. Similarly, we can uh, divide this into what? Into Divide this into 1, 1, okay? And 1, 9, okay? So let's check what is the sum of the digits? 2. What is the sum of the digits? 10, okay? So yes, so the, the sum of the digits of the current group, right? Subgroup is less than equal to the sum of digits of the group right next to it okay so this is a valid grouping okay so what we want to do is we want to return the total number of valid groupings that could be given for a given string okay so now let's see the intuition okay so what we'll do for example right we have this sub we have this string okay so what we can divide this this the substring okay what we can do is we can first go recursively right so one 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 nine okay similarly what we can do is here one nine right we'll have index index will start from okay so this one and then what what else we have one 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 nine right or one 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 nine like this okay so we'll go recursively this way okay and what we'll do is we'll have two variables i equal to zero and uh sum so i is nothing but index okay and sum equal to zero then what we'll do is so what what for this for this for this what is the index we'll start uh, the next for the next subgrouping will start from here so i will be one okay and sum is what Sum is the previous, is the sum of the previous group. What is the sum of the previous group? It is 1. Okay, sum of the previous group is 1. Okay, so in this way we are going to go. For example, now we can split this, right? Into what? 1, 1, 1, 9, right? So what will be the index? The, the index of the next grouping will be what? The index of the next grouping will be, will start from here, right? Which is 0, 1, 2, right? 2, right? And what will be the sum? Sum of the previous, right? Sum of the previous Grouping will be some of the previous group will be what this one, right? So what we'll do? We'll check the whether the current sum, current sum of the group, right? One. If it is greater than or equal to the previous sum, previous sum is what this, right? Yes, if it is, then what we'll do? We'll go for the further split. Okay. So this can be further split into what? So one, 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 right? And nine, right? One, 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 nine. Okay. Now what will the next index? Index will be index will be what? Index will be the starting from three. Okay, index will be starting from three, and sum of previous is what? We have to consider some of the only previous, just previous. Okay, we don't have to uh, consider the the historic, the, the uh, all the previous sums. Okay, just the just the one which is the immediate previous. Okay, so sum equal to what? Sum equal to one here. Okay, so what we'll check uh, if the sum of the current, right? The current sum, right? Current sum is nine. If it is greater than or equal to previous sum, what which is previous sum? Pre previous sum is one. Okay, then we'll go for further splitting. Okay, we'll go for further grouping. Okay, so similarly one, 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 and what nine? Right, and what we have empty, right? So, what is the index here? What, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? I is 4, I is 4, and sum is 9. But this will be the base condition because we have reached, right? We have reached the uh, uh, all, all the index, right? All the indices, okay? So, what we'll do? So, when in this condition, if i is greater than or equal to str dot length, right? Then we'll return 1. That means, that means we'll return 1. That means this is a valid grouping which we have found. Okay, this is one of the one of the valid groupings which we have found. Okay, so similarly, we are going to go for splits like this, right? So, so for this branch, for there will be two two branches for this uh, for uh, grouping. Okay, there will be two branches. How? So one was this, right? One dot one comma one, right? In this way, and what will be the other one? One, 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 nine. Okay, nine. Then what it will be? This will be further. This will be then what? This will further go into one one and nine and in this way. Okay, okay. So similarly. So similarly, there'll be other, uh, there'll be branches, there'll be further branches, right? So one, one, right? This was a previous, then one, nine, okay? In this way, we'll divide, we'll go into further branches and then we'll, we'll have scenarios wherein, wherein there'll be repeated sub problems which will be solving, okay? So this, this particular uh, possibility we must have solved, we would have solved in some previous, in some previous branch, okay? In some previous branch, okay? In some previous branch, we must have solved. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll use mem recursion and along with recursion, we'll, we will use memoization as well. Okay, so let's see the code. Let's see the code, how we'll go. 
let's see the java code first okay first okay so we'll have dp for memoization okay so the dp we'll have dp and then we'll fill the dp with uh, minus one and then what we'll do is we'll pass on the string and some will initially will be zero and index will be zero i is zero okay so what we'll do here we'll check the base condition later on so we'll check here okay so what we have done initially we have initialized the dp with minus one okay so if it is not minus one that means we have already solved that sub problem okay we have already computed that sub problem and we'll return that uh, computed sub problem okay that's the answer of the computed sub problem if not then what we'll do we have we'll have current sum okay we'll have current sum and we'll have answer here zero okay so we'll have a for loop and what we'll do see we are taking the current character and adding right and adding and adding to the current sum okay current sum so what we're doing here is and then we are checking if the current sum is greater than or equal to the previous sum this is a previous sum if it is then we are going for further split okay so what will the further split if you see index we are incrementing j plus one j plus one we are incrementing the index right and then in this way the current sum the current sum will now be the previous sum so if you see here right if you see here see we we saw this right so we saw this so i equal to zero we started with this right i equal to so i equal to zero we started and we had this split right this group and this group right similarly when we started with i equal to one so we had the grouping what the grouping so this was the grouping right this was the grouping similarly this one and this one we had right so so this is a for loop which is taking care and then what we are doing is we are calculating the current sum right in this case what is the current sum current sum is this current sum is this okay and the previous sum is this previous sum okay so previous sum is this okay so initially previous sum is passed zero over here and then okay we are checking here okay and similarly we are passing the current sum in this function in the recursive function solve right so now when uh, this function is called over here so the current sum will become the previous sum here right in this way we are checking and we are also when when we are returning right so what we are doing is when we have the answer we are also adding uh, storing it in the dp array we are also storing in the dp array and we are uh, so yes, yeah, so the, so the next time, if again that problem comes, right? So we we will have we will already have that in the DP array, right? In the DP matrix, and then we'll return uh, from there. Okay. So this is a Java code. Okay. So similarly, we have C plus plus code as well. So here we have uh, this array, right? DP array, and we have initialized with uh, minus one. Okay, minus one, and then we are passing index initially zero, sum equal to zero. Okay, and then we have base condition over here. If index is greater than equal to string size, that means we that we have found valid grouping. So we'll return one. We'll return one. So here also what we are doing is then if we if dp for that particular index in sum, if it is not minus one, then we already have that uh, stored. Okay. Okay, then we'll return that and then we'll have current sum and answer equal to zero. Right. And then what we're doing is j equal to index. We'll be starting from okay, the index and then current sum. Okay, and then what we're doing is current sum is if we are checking whether the current sum is greater than or equal to previous sum and then yes if it is then what we are doing is this solve will return right if it is a valid grouping it will return one okay and we are adding it to the answer and similarly for that particular index and sum we are storing the dpi okay so this is a solution so let's submit it yes it is accepted i hope you've got the solution uh, please subscribe to, patch, to my channel like the video okay have a happy healthy and a great day thank you so much